And we're back. You're watching Sports Federation TV. I'm Linyuk the Chetty. Now we have Kurt Cameron and Ricardo Jafta to tell us about the world of street athletics. Welcome, guys. Thank you for having us. Thank you kindly. So some people at home might not know that uh, about street athletics. So would you tell us a bit about what exactly this sport is about? Okay, well, our street athletics is a project that piloted last year. Initially, we had three clubs involved in the, in the project. We actively take athletics into your community, onto your doorstep. It's open to the entire community and we invite everyone just to come along and have some fun with us. And it's also a means for us as a talent identification process whereby we, if we spot these young talented athletes, we can feed them into our development pathway and take them into our club system or into our development projects as I previously mentioned. Uh, that that's lovely. Now, Ricardo, you, there's so much of different sports under the the athletics umbrella. Which sports or specific codes does street athletics cater for? Yeah, we mainly focus on the track events itself. So your 100, your 200, and your 4 to 800 meters. But we also do the race walking as well. So we can't do the field events because we only have limited space, and uh, so. Hence the fact that we are only using the, say, the 100 and 200 to 800 as well. But we do have the different age categories, which the athletes can part participate in. Okay, so these are short, relatively short distance mm -hmm. events yes. happening on the street. At your doorstep, yes. At your doorstep. It's just to give you some info, the distance we're looking at is your 50 meters, 80 meters, the 100 meters, 400 and 800 meters events. And this is great because it must really uh, encourage the community participation because people are right there where it's happening. Definitely, yes. Like you have, we have demand from people to actually bring this project back into the community, those that have previously hosted. So there is a demand coming from the communities as, and the clubs based within that community. So they are quite eager and excited about the concept of street athletics. It, well, it, it sounds, definitely sounds exciting. Now, the two of you are development officers uh, for your code. What exactly does that job entail? We, uh, development, it's, it's, it's very, very broad. If I had to put it to in a nutshell, it's, we need to be able to take athletes from your grassroots levels to the highest level of excellence. Now, within our portfolios, there are a number of projects, like we have to initiate talent identification frameworks, and coaching hubs within the community. So you need to set that pathway which can take your the kid, the child, the athlete from the lowest level of being grassroots all the way to your highest level of excellence where you see weight currently at. And to do that, there is a number of steps that you need to follow. Sure. Ricky, how long has this um, particular code been operating for? Yeah, Western Province started uh, last year with it. Um, they managed to host three events in East River, in Levendale, mm -hmm. and in Mitchell's Plain. So this year we're quite bigger now. We are hosting seven events and I uh, try to cover mostly all the, because Western Province Athletic is quite big in number of clubs here. So we try to manage and try to grow every year as we go on and try to see if we can mm -hmm. get more youngsters into the program as well. Okay. Well, the areas uh, you, you mentioned are uh, you know, are, are known to be areas where people don't uh, have low income status. Mm -hmm. um, so how are you getting those kids to join the program? Is it through the parents or the schools? What, what the, the, the project is, is, in, is, is your Western Province Athletics being the mother body and one of your our affiliated clubs. So we are, these clubs are situated in the community and they are tasked with getting the kids to the event. So they go out to schools, promote the event, let them know what it is about. And they then in turn bring the kids and advertise it so that they are there on the day. And so we can have the, the street athletics happening. Okay. So Western Province is administrating that the kids will probably get notices to take to their parents. Yes. And you guys are here to say this is bona fide. Yes. It's <laughs> official and there's a plan. Yes. There's a development yeah. plan for the children. Um, now, the children who are participating um, in, the, in the street races, um, what would they need to have in order to compete uh, they can in terms of gear? Mm -hmm. No, they can just basically come. They can decide they can come in the club colors or in the school colors or whatever kit they have, sport-related mm -hmm. kit, just to be comfortable in it. They can run in techies or barefoot or in 
most of them are running in school shoes mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah because he's on a on a tar road can run actually run in spikes but you can come just as you are and come participate can you tell us a little bit about uh, the success of the, the tournaments that you've had so far well as i as i mentioned they were based on last year's events the uh, the communities are quite in demand for it they, they're asking when we are bringing the concept back into the community I remember when we piloted the event last year, we had one of the small businesses within the community. They were, they were complaining about that will deter business coming in. But at the end of the day, the guy was actually so excited because he's never gotten that amount of business on the day. So there is really a demand, the communities and the, the clubs are wanting to host. So it's generating excitement at the moment. There's a hype about street traffic is going around. Okay, well we'd like to show the viewers some footage that you've brought with of, okay. of a race that took place. So we're going to have a look at that okay. now. Wow, you know, uh, I, I can't help but uh, get memories of my own childhood <laughs> watching that. And, and now there's a, there's a structure and these yeah. children can get recognition for being the fastest in their community <laughs> or their street. And their parents are right there to support and, and the families and cousins and all of that. So have you been getting a lot of interest then from the community? Yes, yes, the support, the support has been good. It's like, uh, it's like a stepping stone building mm -hmm. process. So we have our up, upsides and we have our downsides, but for the last three events, it's what, in my opinion, was it was successful, and uh, so mm -hmm. yeah, we will look forward to the next the next few that mm -hmm. will host. Are you targeting specific communities for this project? The we the, a notice went out to all the clubs that are affiliated to Western Province Athletics. So whoever expressed interest that they were tasked with the project like they, they were given the street that it is concept to take into their community so it's not necessarily that we're targeting a specific community it's the clubs that are within these communities they are they are they come forth and said i would like to host the street athletics within my community so that's how the selection process gets done based for your community mm. and is this a, a uniquely western province initiative yes we we, we do believe so and uh, we are supported by the two oceans marathon npc mm -hmm. yeah without the yeah, we wouldn't have so many successes over the last say two years now yeah so it's it's, it's quite unique i believe in even in south africa as mm -hmm. well mm. we spoke a lot now about the children participating uh what about the adults are they also interested in the sport yes you definitely do get interest from the parents as well we have the occasional parents race taking place and we always invite the grandparents also come and have fun with us just enjoy it along with your grandkids and the children so the parents are quite keen on it and they do participate in the events as well mm -hmm. like i said it's open to all members of the community so if you do find us in your community please come out and have fun with us mm -hmm. now apart from the obvious benefits of being involved in any sport what would you say is the benefits you've seen for the kids and the adults participating in street athletics? Yeah, you can basically see they, 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 have, they have fun and that they enjoy themselves. For the, for the kids self in that specific age group, uh, we do our talent identification through that as well. So then we, we will select the, the, the rough or the black diamond within the mud mm -hmm. and want to nurture those talents yeah. through a, a development process into the say the SA national champs or the world champs or Olympic champs okay. that is that is basically mm -hmm. our aim so I do believe there is some goals if you are really interested in put your mind and dedication and time towards it I do believe that the rough diamond or that mm -hmm. black diamond through the mud Definitely. and through the set setup that we do have in place I think that specific kid or athlete will come very far it's it's excellent that you have a, a plan <laughs> in place, um, Kurt and uh, Ricardo, because the 
uh, there's a lot of children that will mm -hmm. just fall through yeah. the cracks if their talent isn't identified, especially for children who are coming from low income yeah. areas. Um, so what has been the feedback from the parents f uh, of the children who are participating? Uh, it's, it's quite positive, like Kurt mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, the communities can't wait or the parents can't wait for us to come back. So some of them, uh, like especially in the Easter River area, they already have a concept to build towards mm -hmm. next year and so that they can use all the WPA event as a champ of champs. And uh, so, they like, they, like I said, they can't wait, they can't even wait the whole year <laughs> to, to, to for us to come back. Okay, well, you guys wrote some photos from the events that you've recently had. We'll take a look at that and you can tell our viewers about those. Yeah, so th that was in Easter River with our first event. It is some our, of our top WPA middle distance in sprinters in the gully. It's a high jump, top high jump Western Province athlete. Yeah, that uh, event was in Nantes, there in Bridgetown, Island. Yeah, that this boys is doing the 50 meter, 50 meter sprint there. Yeah, that was also in Easter River. Uh, the under seven to eight boys doing the 50 meter sprint. And the children are passionately mm -hmm. running even without yeah. shoes, hey? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was more, that is a 10 to 11 year olds who's doing the 80, 80 meters. They were quite competitive, especially the day in Bridgetown. Yeah, and the support on the day was quite good. Mm. We were like based, uh, the area where we were is like 50 meters from one of the primary schools. So it's like a walk through area. So do we get our supporters in our runners as well? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how do, you, how do you go about selecting the, the volunteers for this kind of project? Well, the, the, the club that's, uh, that's affiliated with us that's hosting the event, they get to bring 10 to 20 of the, their own helpers from their club. And then we also get the Western Province Athletics help team, uh, which we select, myself and Ricardo select. And as you mentioned, we have some of our top performing athletes in your, the various disciplines of track and field and your rail running and your cross country. They come along and they assist us in this whole talent identification process. And believe it or not, they are extremely excited about this. They can't wait until the next one comes up. Okay. You mentioned that some, some of the top athletes are also involved with this project. Yes, yes, yeah, like Kurt mentioned, because they are also actively in the mm -hmm. sport and they are, it's a first time for some of the guys who's doing the, the, the starters as well. Now they mm -hmm. are breaking on, especially to the technical officials from Western Province, they must rate them now on, on a scale and how good they are or their performance. So we do have some, at our, most of our races, we have some of the chairperson of the technical officials or from the cross, cross country just to oversee the proceedings as well and just to give us feedback from their view and uh, athletes which can be not good in 100 to 200 but it can be good in middle distance and across mm -hmm. country mm -hmm. and from a technical aspect and uh, our performances where we make mistakes etc or where we did stuff right so that is also good to have them involved and even and also our, our western province president he Every week it tends the it tends mm -hmm. the events just to overlook proceedings as well. Mm. Passionate uh, administrators are key to the success of things like this. Hey, definitely we have to agree. It all starts with the admin work. Without that, the the, the events wouldn't be a success. Like uh, I have to say thank you to our development committee because it's a development initiative and it starts at that level. So all the ideas comes from the committee, from mm -hmm. the various commissions. So. We, if we put the, our heads together, we will come up with a successful concept. And I believe the street athletics is one that's going to go from higher level to higher level to higher level. It's, it's a great initiative. It's a, it's a brilliant initiative. Kurt, can you describe the structure for us? How does, it, how does uh, the, the feeding system work? Well, from, from at the provincial level, we, we have the kids athletics, which is for kids at age 8 to 12. That is on your primary school level. Then. From there, you go into your little athletics, which is for kids age 11 to 16. And then from there, you're looking at developing a pool of elite junior and senior athletes. So your street athletics will serve as a feeder to these clubs, depending on the age of the athlete. If it's a 10-year-old athlete, you can feed them into the kids athletic system. If it's a 12-year-old, you're looking at the little athletics. So there are various levels of 
uh, performance, if I can say that, kids athletics, little athletics, and then your elite junior and senior athletes. So it's one path that we're looking to follow. What's next on the agenda for this code? Well, the, we had three events that had took place already. The next one is scheduled for next week, Wednesday, which will take place at in West Bank. And the host club will be the Bottler Ray Athletics Club, which is actually a very one of our strong junior-based clubs within the province. From there, we have two more, I, th I speak under correction, this one in your Mitchell's Plain area, and then as well as the Alpe area and the uh, Atlantis area of Westfield. So it's three left, including actually in the one to take place next week. So if children want to participate, children or adults want to participate in the races, do they have to be affiliated to a particular club or can they just pitch on the day? They can, they can just pitch on the day. They will have to, to register or to enter and that is basically it. Yeah, so it's we, we, we are like they have technical aspects aside but we are not that technical. Mm -hmm. There's no need mm -hmm. to belong to a club because we target the community, we want to see the it's accessibility. Yeah, the, yeah, the athlete is not in the in a belongs to a club. We want to get them involved in into the club in that specific community as well. Okay, all right. And how can uh, so is there a fee? Is there a fee if they pitch up to take part in the event? No, it's no free, fee. No fee. None all right, all. <laughs> excellent. And and this is all run by volunteers and under uh, Western Province Athletics. That's correct. Yes. Like I said before, we have some of our even our top athletes with middle distance and sprinters within the province assisting us in this exciting venture. So it's, 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 you, it's free publicity. Yeah. Well, wow. All I can say is, wow, this is amazing that you guys are availing yourselves to do this. And I can see how passionate you are about this development project yeah. and, and all the diamonds you're going to unearth. <laughs> hey, and come back and share some news with us about Def the yes, upcoming definitely. events and maybe more footage as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kurt, and thank you, Ricardo. Thank you, very thank much. you for having us. All right. Well, folks, it's time from Street Athletics and their amazing development project um, to the Bashus competition. And uh, all you need to do is SMS Bashus to 33090. That's Bashus to 33090 in order to win your case of assorted Bashus drinks. Congratulations to last week's winner, Reginald Carlsa. You can expect your case of Bashus in the mail very soon. After the break, we'll be back with Safa, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>